Two can play at this game, Mr. Macy. If Gimbel's hadn't got what the customer wants, we'll send him over to Macy's. It'll be a pleasure, Mr. Gimble. <laughs> Hello, friends. Welcome today to a very fall day. It's a little bit cool. It's a little bit warm. I love this time of year when it's in between summer and winter. I found a really cool story to tell you today. He is a famous classic actor silent films, radio soap operas, romantic and dramas and movies, such as playing Mr. Gimbel in the classic famous movie, Miracle on 34th Street. The college is having some sort of assembly today. So you're gonna be hearing some music and sounds of that nature. But never a dull moment at this beautiful mountain cemetery. This classic actor his name is Herbert Harrison Hayes. He was born in 1889 in Vader, Washington. His ancestors crossed over on the Oregon Trail. His father, a Liverpool sea captain who sailed around Cape Horn and a pioneer in the fishing industry his mother, Lavina Jane Washburn. The family moved to Portland, Oregon when Herbert was four years old. Between the ages of 10 and 13, he first appeared as a member of the Baker's Stock Theater Company in Portland, Oregon. Playing leads by actor manager James K. Hackett, then firmly established onto Broadway till 1916, whereas he was hired in romantic films by Fox Films, such as Under Two Flags and Salome, and many others, and I'll get to those in a moment. Herbert Hayes was seen as a very dignified actor, which kept him in demand for such roles as President Thomas Jefferson in 1955's The Far Horizons and General Perishing in 1955, The Court Martial of Billy Mitchell. Eventually, he returned to New York. He remained busy in stage and radio into the 1940s. In the early 40s, he resumed his acting career when he landed the Mr. Gimble role. His stardom rocketed playing Ronald Reagan's proposed father-in-law, A Bedtime for Bonzo, 
and his favorite screen role in George Stevens' A Place in the Sun, 1951. Mildred Gertrude von Holland-Hayes in 1891 and 1971 is buried in El Toro Memorial Park in California. A beautiful actress starring in Rin Tin Tin and flourishing as a Broadway leading lady in over 70 stage plays and productions as well as television and movie roles. Later in her life, she was a very generous benefactor for schools, hospitals, libraries, churches, Red Cross, and theater neighborhood productions. She passed in 1971 from natural causes. Later, they divorced and he remarried to Helen Ward, June 15, 1934. In his final years, he had compelling roles in A Place in the Sun, 1951, Park Row, 1952, and The Seven Little Foys, 1955. He is credited with being the creator of the radio soap opera in 1924, such as Who Killed the Caretaker and In Main Street, a first radio drama with Gladys George. He played in 20 silent films, through 1924. In his last years, he played major roles in movies and 40 programs and appearances. His last being on Sugarfoot and the George Burns Show. Herbert Harrison Hayes loved to fish was a stroke oarsman for the Portland Rowing Club. In his first stage appearance at the Baker Theater, he was carrying a spear at a rate of 50 cents, but the super captain held out for 10 cents his commission. His name first appeared on the program for If I Were a King, his pay being $6 per week. He arranged to have a flower bouquet handed to him to impress the management, but instead it was giving to the leading lady. His son, Douglas Hayes, is of Maverick and the Twilight Zone fame. Herbert Hayes passed away in his North Hollywood home after a three-year illness. And here is Herbert H. Hayes, 1890 to 1958, and Helen M. Hayes, 1902 to 1974. I looked up who VC uh, family is, and there's not much about them. Uh, the rest of Herbert's family is buried in California, Texas. In Portland. Maybe they were friends. I believe this is all cremations. And this is the Ernest C. V. C. and Lillian, 1870, 1920, and 1877 to 1965. And Martha V. C. looks like Silvis, 1920 to 1907. So, this is a pioneer grave. It's very cool. Maybe they were here when they passed away and decided to be interred with friends. Left a little bit of color. 
and I'm glad to pay tribute to such a cool actor, Mr. Gimbal of Gimbal's Department Store in Miracle on 34th Street. We'll be watching that soon for Christmas. And it'll be fun to see him. And I'll look up some other of his movies. Bedtime for Bonzo is a cool movie. Thank you for joining me for my story time. Going for a walk on this peaceful day. It's a, it's a fun day. My last day in Boulder. I get to go home, go do some stories, maybe down south. Please like and subscribe, share my story times so I can get my journalism out to the world. Peace and love and tranquility to everyone and everything. Thank you. Thank you.